Hello and welcome to the first in a series of videos that will help you to use JVZoo. The first thing you want to do, obviously, is log in. We're not going to go through the process of creating a JVZoo account. We're just going to dive right into it here. And what I'm going to do is log into my actual account. So as we go through, there may be occasional items that will be blurred out. These are private items that, uh, for obvious reasons, are not going to be shown. Now that we're logged in, you may see a pop-up information box here. We have these from time to time from JVZoo whenever they add new features. You can either click Don't Show Again or Remind Me in an Hour. I'm just going to click Remind Me in an Hour to get rid of it. What we have here is our dashboard. At the top is our menu with various drop-downs. They have different functions at the very top. This is where you would click to log out. This is where we have messages for their internal messaging system. And this is where you go to see items you've purchased on this account. The one uh, other item on the left here, logged in as, is the sub-user function. If you're doing work for a different JVZoo vendor, they can allow you to be a sub-user on their account, giving you access to various uh, areas within their account, various items on the menu here. If you click here, you'll get a list of all of the item, all of the accounts that you are a sub-user on. We're not going to go into that because it doesn't really fit this tutorial. So on the front screen, you will see your current snapshot of your sales. Unfortunately, not having the greatest day here, but we press on with our tutorial. This is the overview screen if you were to click overview on home. These are two shortcuts to the affiliate and seller dashboard. You'll also find those links if you click on affiliate and sellers. The affiliate menu is where you find products to promote in order to make commissions. Again, this is not part of this tutorial, so I'm not going to go into this section in great depth. But let's go over to the sellers section. Under the Sellers section, we have the Sellers Dashboard. That's where you'll find your list of products that you sell as a vendor. Sales Funnels is where you find the, as it says, sales funnels that you've set up as a vendor. A sales funnel, if you're not familiar with this term, is a series of products that the buyer will be sent to when they purchase the front end item of your promotion. So for example, if you have a front-end item that you want to have them shown an upsell after they buy, then this is how you would set it up is in sales funnels, and we will cover this separately. Split test is where you can split test multiple sales pages for the same product. Custom checkout banners is where you can put banners in that will appear in the checkout process. JVs is where you can set up certain percentage contracts for uh, people that you're working with on a particular project. For example, suppose you have a partner who's doing some of the marketing for you and you're splitting the profits or the gross or a certain amount of money from the sales. That's where you set it up is in JVs. This is not where you get affiliates. That is something else. Coupons is where you can set up a coupon code for any or all of your products. That gives the coupon code, code holder a discount, and this can be limited to a certain number of uses or unlimited, etc. Advertise with us is, as it says, where you can get information on how to put ads in areas such as this Hot Topics area that we see here. Transaction payouts. These are for paying out delayed commissions or manual commissions to people who live in countries that cannot accept automatic PayPal payments. Remember, JVZoo is built on the PayPal adaptive payment method. That means that when you sell an item, if there's an affiliate who sent the sale, all of the proceeds from the sale will come into your PayPal account. From that point, they will be automatically portioned out. Obviously, PayPal gets their percentage. JVZoo gets their 5% for using their platform. The affiliate gets automatically paid their commission if you have them on instant payout. If you don't, 
they will appear in this report. The rest of the amount is left in your account. If that buyer does a refund, the amount paid to the affiliate as well as JVZoo and PayPal are automatically pulled out of those respective accounts back into yours and then one refund is given to the buyer. Affiliate options. This is where you set up your affiliates. If you go into affiliate requests, you will find a list of people who have requested to promote one or more of your products. This is where you can approve them for instant payment or give them delayed payment if they're someone you don't know or they have very little experience or they come from a country that you prefer not to work with or you can outright deny them so they are not able to promote your item. This is where you can find a report of your existing affiliates and you can drill down based on product, based on affiliate name to see what products they're set up to promote and it will show what type they are approved for, instant payment, delayed payment, or outright denial. Affiliate Sync is where you can make existing affiliates affiliates of other newer products of yours that they haven't requested. You can just select them off of list and approve them this way so that they will automatically get paid a commission. For example, if someone is promoting one of your sales funnels with a series of front end and upsells and downsells, if you add a new product, a brand new product after the fact and add that to your sales funnel, you will want to sync them. That way they're sure to get paid their commission. This is a list of affiliates that you have auto approved so that whenever they request to promote, promote one of your products, they will automatically get approved for instant commissions. And finally, we have the banned affiliate list. If there are affiliates that you do not want to work with for a variety of reasons, whatever your reason may be, you can add them to this list. They will not be allowed to request promotion links for your items in the future. Reports, as you would guess, is where you can find your sales and transaction reports. These are very self-explanatory. This report will give you the amount that you've paid out to your affiliates and you can pick uh, the range of dates or the products that you've paid out, etc. I will be showing you all of these reports. Sales is your sales report. Pre-approvals are pre-approved memberships. This is recurring memberships. That's what PayPal calls them, are pre-approvals. Transaction report, this is where you can search for a particular transaction. And then under taxes is where you find these delightful VAT and sales tax reports and documents. Under other, this is where you can get a GetResponse account that will link directly to your JVZoo account. You can add lists to that GetResponse account, and you can do the same with SendReach. Scrolling back up to the top, we have the Marketplace. This is where you can find other products that are for sale on JVZoo if you want to buy them. Personally, I rarely ever use that. I already know what I'm looking for. JVZoo maintains a launch list. When you launch a new product, you can get it listed on there. Top Sellers is a very important page. This shows each day's top selling products. You get to see today's top sellers, yesterday's top sellers, the top seller for the last seven days, and the top 10 sellers for the last 30 days. You want your products on these lists, obviously. When your product appears on one of the top seller lists, you will get a lot of interest from other affiliates. Finally, featured products. This is another place where you can advertise, I believe. Um, also, uh, this is where JVZoo's top picks and products of the day are listed. You can find one of those right here on this banner that you'll see on every page. If you're picked as a product of the day or a top pick or one of the other picks that JVZoo does, you can anticipate a number of sales coming in. On to the next part of the menu. This is where your account details are. This is all of your personal information, what PayPal account you're hooked up to, your um, public profile, etc. Most of these we do not need to go through, but I will go through one or two. Tools, these are other tools that are working with JVZoo and JVZoo's hosting. Join me in the next video for more in-depth information.